everyone, I'm Sarah of Birch Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to be learning how to crochet this spiked granny bookmark, which is this one uh, that you see here. Now I love making bookmarks. You will notice there are a few other bookmarks here on my channel as well as my blog. Uh, all of my bookmarks at the moment are being made out of the Patton's Grace yarn. Now this is a lightweight mercerized 100% cotton and uh, you really don't need, oh so lightweight, so if you're looking at your label it's a number three there on the label if you're going to swap it out for a different one. Now um, the colors I'm going to be using here are the viola, I'll also be using a natural color and then as well this silver color. You're only going to need about 20 yards uh, per color for your pattern so you really really don't need very much and you probably won't even use all of that. I just want to make sure you have enough uh, for the project. As well you're going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written pattern which can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me and if it is your first time here or you haven't yet already please don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out some of the other videos and stitch tutorials that can be found here. So uh, we're going to uh, grab our hooks and our yarn and uh, let's get started learning how to crochet this spiked granny bookmark. So as I mentioned at the beginning for this project you are going to need three different colors of yarn about 20 yards of each. So today for my project I'm going to use this uh, purple viola yarn as my color A. I'll be using the natural yarn as my color B and the gray as my color C. So we're going to start off working with our color A, which is my purple color here. This pattern is worked in rows and it works up fairly quickly. The stitch that makes up this pattern is called the Granny Spike Stitch. It's made up of double crochet stitches, so it's going to work pretty quick. What you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot and you're then going to chain 32 chains. There's 15, 20, 30, 31, and 32. Once you have a total of 32 stitches, you're going to start, you're going to continue working with your color A, and you're going to work two double crochet stitches in the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Into that fourth chain, you're going to work two double crochet stitches and your chain three at the beginning will count as a stitch. So there's one and two, both into that same fourth chain. You're then going to chain one. You're going to skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and into that next chain, work three double crochet stitches three double crochet stitches all into the same chain. You're now going to repeat. Chain one, skip three stitches, and work three double crochet stitches into the next chain. You're going to repeat that all the way across chain one, skip three, work three double crochet stitches, all the way to your very last chain where you're going to work your final three double crochets. Now I'm just working my final set of three double crochet stitches into that final stitch 
And what I'm going to want to do with my final stitch, that final third double crochet, is I'm going to want to change to my color B at the end of this row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into that last chain. This is the third double crochet in that set. I'm going to yarn over and drop a loop. I'm then going to yarn over and pull through two loops. And now I want to change my color. So I'm going to drop my color A. I'm going to pick up my color B and place it on my hook. And then I'm going to pull the color B through and complete that stitch just like so. I'll show you that one more time. So this is my final stitch in that first row and it's in color A to start. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that same last stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through two, then drop my color A, pick up my color B, place it on my hook and pull through the two loops. I'm now set to go with my color B. At this point, it is up to you as to uh, whether or not you want to fasten off and weave in your ends, or you can leave that attached because we are going to come back to it. We're now ready to start row two. And with row two and your color B all set to go, you're going to chain four and turn your work. Your chain four is going to count as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. You're then going to skip the first three double crochet stitches and you're going to double crochet into that chain one space followed by a spike stitch worked into the middle chain of the three chains that you skipped below. So there's my one, two, three. This is my middle chain right here. And I'm going to work a spike stitch. To work my spike stitch, I'm going to work it like a double crochet, yarn over. I'm going to bring my hook down into that stitch, that center stitch of the three skipped down below, over top of the last row I just worked. Okay, so this is two rows below. I'm inserting my hook. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to draw up a loop. And I want to draw my loop up a little bit taller so that it's the right height as a double crochet stitch. I'm then going to yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through the last two. And that is your spike stitch. You can see it dips right down in there, two rows below. That's your spike stitch. You're then going to work one more double crochet into that same chain one space. Chain one, skip the next three double crochet stitches, and you're going to work similar to what you just worked over there. So double crochet into the next chain one, spike stitch, into the center chain, two rows of that, those three that you skipped, two rows below. Remember to pull up your loop a little bit taller so you're not going to make the fabric bunch. And then one final double crochet also into that chain one space. Chain one, skip three, and repeat. Double crochet, spike stitch and then double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Now I'm working into my final chain one space. I have my double crochet, there's my spike stitch, 
and one more double crochet and then I have these three double crochets at the very end so I'm going to chain one I'm going to skip those first two double crochets and then I'm going to simply double crochet into the top of that chain three at the end of the stitch I'm going to change to my color C so you will switch to color C at the end of that row two basically you're going to be working one color uh, one row in each color there we go just like so and that brings you to the end of row two for th row three, you're going to continue with your color C. You're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and you're going to turn your work. You're now going to want to work in that first chain one space, and we're going to continue this set of, of three double crochets. So you have your chain three, which counts as our stitch. Your next one is going to be a spike stitch and it's going to be worked into the next double crochet which would be the middle one of the three down below. So in that two rows below, insert your hook in the top, drop your loop, pull it up a little higher and then complete the stitch. Okay, then you're going to work your final double crochet into that same chain one space. Then chain one, as you did before, skip the next three double crochets into that chain one space, work a double crochet, a double crochet spike stitch in the middle stitch of the three double crochets two rows below, and then one more into the same chain space. Chain one, skip three, into the next chain one space, repeat your set of three double crochets. So you're going to continue that all the way across. At the end of this row, you are going to switch back to your color B. Now when you come to the end of your row three, you've chained one and you have this chain one and double crochet, which was your starting chain four. So you're going to work into that chain space. Work your double crochet into that chain four space, your spike stitch, and then your final double crochet just into the top. Of, uh, of that chain actually into the third chain from your hook or from the bottom of the chain four. Just like so. And then once again, remember you're going to switch back to your color B. Once you have switched back to your color B, you're going to repeat row two and row three. So with your color B, chain three, or sorry, chain four, and turn your work. And you're then going to skip that set of three double crochets into your chain one, work your sets of double crochet and spike stitches. So you're going to repeat that at the end of this row, which would be your row four, you're going to switch back to your color A, and then you're going to repeat your row three. At the very end of that, you can fasten off all your threads and you can weave in all of your ends. Meet me back here and I'll show you the edging as well as the tassel. Now, once you have woven in all of your ends, you're going to want to do a quick 
edging on the two ends of your bookmark. Now you can uh, do the edging in whatever color you choose. I'm going to stick with my color A uh, because I'm not going to work it all the way around. I'm only doing the two edges so it will match uh, the uh, first and last rows. So once you've joined it with a slip stitch, you're simply going to work eight single crochet stitches just evenly across that end of your bookmark. So there's two, three, and four should have you about halfway across, five, six, seven, and then eight and then you are going to join with a slip stitch and I like to join with the first stitch there on the side it kind of brings it around and again you're going to fasten off you're then going to repeat the same thing for the other side so join your yarn with a slip stitch into that top corner and work eight single crochet stitches all the way across. eight and then join with a slip stitch and fasten off. You're then going to take your yarn needle and weave in those ends. Now for the tassel again you can uh, use whichever color you would like. Uh, you're going to cut lengths of yarn that are about 10 inches long and however many you would like you're going to double them over so I do six and then double it over to make my tassel uh, but you're welcome to do more or less depending on how thick you would like your tassel to be you're then going to simply uh, pass those six strands through one of the shorter ends, just the little chain spaces, I pulled out a thread, uh, there in your bookmark. Just going to clip that off. And you're going to fold it over like so. You're then going to take an extra length and there are other methods of making tassels. I just like to take an extra length of yarn and up near the top of the bookmark, I start the beginning of a knot. I pull it tight. And then I just wrap it around a few times. So I'm just taking those ends and wrapping it, it around where I partially tied that knot. Like so, and when I'm happy with it, I finish tying my knot. And again, there are many ways of making a tassel. Then I take my yarn needle and I thread the two ends of my tied strand onto the needle and then I simply take them and I tuck them down into the center of my knot and pull tight. I do the same for the other one and this just hides it a little bit and brings it in just like so. So right down into the center of my tassel, take off my hook, trim the ends to make sure that they are all the same length, 
and that's it. Now, if you wish, you can block your bookmark. I found that I didn't have to. Uh, and of course, once it's pressed into the center of your book a little bit, uh, it does straighten it out or you're welcome to iron it as well. But that's all there is to making your spiked granny stitch bookmark. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, stay tuned for more crochet patterns and as well stitch tutorials. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.